day five, we're gonna have some kettlebell action, some full body action. It's just gonna be everything coming at you all at once. It's gonna be fantastic, so stay tuned for day number five, because it's gonna be epic. bear crawls. You want to keep your back as straight as possible. Your shoulders stack right over those wrists, putting it into that lower body. So you're right here. to start off with. Up next you have four push-ups into four mountain climbers. You can do mountain climbers in the inner part of your body going straight up or if you want to pull them out to the side kind of get that oblique you can do that too. But four push-ups, four mountain climbers. Here we go. Take a deep breath. Okay, next you can have a kettlebell or if you want, you don't have a kettlebell and you have a weight, and just press that weight between your hands. This one's fun. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna squat and then with that back leg, you're lifting up and over to get the inner part of that thigh and it's also gonna hit the outer part of that thigh and you're just gonna go back and forth as many times as you can. The key is when you're lifting up and over with that back foot to go high to really engage every part of the lower part of your legs. Here we go. on the inner part of the thigh, the outer part, the glute, everything, even in that core, because you're keeping that core tight, keeping that back straight. It's also gonna get that heart rate moving. All right guys, kettlebell hip thrust. So about these, you're hinging at your hips. You are not bending your knees. You can have a slight bend, but you're not hinging at your hips. It's not a squat. So I'm gonna start off from the side. So you're here, I have that slight bend, my hips are tilting forward, and I'm driving with my glutes to get the kettlebell all the way up. So you're here. Keeping that back straight, squeezing those glutes on the way up. It's a total like 
glute and leg workout. Tuck in a little bit of those arms just, just for some fun. We want, we want some sexy arms. Okay, so the last one that we have for you is you're grabbing a 10 pound weight or a 15 pound weight, whatever you can do it with. You're gonna stand here, you're gonna push it straight out. It's gonna attack the chest and the beautiful front part of your shoulder, which every lady wants is a little bit of a cap. We're gonna take it in for a little bit of cardio and you're gonna jack squat it going up all the way out with the legs going out. So it's a little bit of a full body. So here we go. And when I'm doing this, I am squeezing my hands together and engaging my chest. After five, you got five here. Each and every one of these, there's five exercises. You're gonna wanna do 45 seconds on, 15 seconds of rest. It still is hit cardio. There's a couple of them that are a little bit of lower impact, but if you're taking only that 15 second break, still gonna get that heart rate moving. Still gonna be working hard. So four to five rounds, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds of rest. As always, I love to hear. So like, comment, subscribe whatever and I'll catch you later.